Hey, what's going on guys? Command Kinsey here in this video we'll download and install Vic Monitor to ESP32 based Vic20 emulator uh, created by Fabrizio De Vittorio using the famous and absolutely tremendous FabJL library. So um, without further ado, let's actually start. And since we have an option of downloading, so here you see like we can download from the URL, right? Um, I'm currently at the at uh, 8bitfiles.net file, uh, .net website. So here we have this uh, 8bitfiles.net CBM Big 20 ROMs tools 4K index HTML, and here I have this uh vic 20 uh, 6 solvents so uh, i've been testing this one and it seems to be like the most standard one so if i just copy the link address and paste it in here so i'm sorry wrong keyboard okay and paste it here so i just could see like uh what i should type and now uh let's go for hard reset first okay and going back to the menu and now I need to go to URL. So here, um, since I've already connected to my Wi-Fi, uh, my Wi-Fi doesn't actually ask me to enter the name of the network and the password. So just uh, straight away goes go straight away like uh, using the to input this URL. So here, uh, here, here is the URL that I'm about to be downloading this Vic20, uh, this Vic20 Vic, Vic, Vic Monitor from. So I just need to type this manually. So HTTP uh, colon slash slash files, uh, dot net slash cbm slash Vic20 slash roms slash tools slash 4k slash big mon dash six sevens dot prg so i just want to quickly make sure that it all kind of works so i can actually home here okay so edbfiles.net okay cbm vic20 roms tools 4k vicmon 6000 prg okay and here i hit enter you know uh this is a tricky part so if you just leave the file name as this is not going to be working so uh here you need to say 4k like this uh actually entering the crt address like 60 like this Probably would also work according to a uh, video introduced by Fabrizio himself, but uh, I've been testing with this 4K, so it just gives the, the file name kind of gives the program an idea where it starts running from, to, like what memory address. I believe that's that should be the case. And hit enter. Just quickly reset this. Um, I'm not sure if the software reset is still enough, so let's try this and. I swear it worked, I just tried this, but I'm not sure what has happened. Okay, so let's go memory, let's go for, I don't know, two sounds, for instance. Oh, some code there, okay, so, oh man, M, four sounds, okay, so, so th this one seems nice. Uh, I'm not sure yet where exactly we should start the program, but yeah, here we have all these errors, which should be... Yeah, probably was just overwritten some system memory or something, so we shouldn't be doing that, obviously. Okay, so let's try now, say, um, uh, assemble, and, um, and now for salvance, and LDA value of 61, and SDA for zero zero a for instance, and I am done. And memory and for sounds. Okay, now this makes perfect sense. It's like this A nine, which stands for LDA uh, immediate data loading to accumulator. Sixty one is the constant, which it is. Then AD is uh, the upcode for STA and uh, zero A 
40 in little endian because 6 by 2 using the, the little endian order here. So this, this works perfectly well. And what is even more cool about this that we actually can do this disassembly here by saying D and for a sentence like this. And this is just a single line. Okay. So I'm wondering if I say D and from four thousandths to let's say four thousandths, thousandths and four. Okay, so now we have yeah, now we have two lines already. So see, so like yeah, we have this two lines. So whatever. So this uh, actually whatever we had in the memory with it, uh, with it uh, disassemble those those values, and that's absolutely amazing. So yeah, um, I really need now to study this Big 20 manual a little bit to just get used to this programming style. And um, I read somewhere that actually programming exactly in the Big Monitor without those fancy editors that came up later actually allows you to develop a very strict style of programming. And well, there is something really really awesome about it and when it when i tried this for the first time uh just yeah about 20 minutes ago i just instantly fell in love with this uh with this piece of software so yeah uh hopefully all those fantastic games that we had a look at previously uh would it be possible to make something somewhat similar with this uh with this development tool so this is it from my side guys thanks for watching until the next time and take care